Hello everyone um, and welcome to my blog. Um, I just thought I'd make a quick video um, basically because I was uh, lucky enough to be on Joe Barnes's webinar the other night which explained about Google authorship and I spent a lot of yesterday um, setting my uh, self up for Google authorship and I thought I'll just go through very briefly and show you exactly what I did because I found it quite confusing at times not that that was anything to do with Joe's webinar because it was absolutely superb just because I'm a bit of a dullard sometimes but anyway let me just run through exactly what I did and how I did it so let's get started right this is my blog uh, social networking as you probably already know that and you can see here I've got I'm on the about page and what we'll be doing in a second is showing you have to create an about page on your blog and link it to your G Plus account, your Google Plus account, or just your Google account if you haven't got um, Google Plus. But if you haven't got Google Plus, please do let me know and I'll invite you and um, you can have an account um, as long you know as long as you, you you basically ask for the invite. Great, right, so here we go. This is my about page and at the bottom here you can see here it says click here and join my Google Plus circles. So if we click on that takes you straight through to my um, Google Plus um, and the point about this is that my blog is now inherently linked to Google Plus and anything that I post on my blog or any content that I create um, Google Plus is going to pick up on it um, and this is great because it gives me credibility and it also shows Google that I'm creating a lot of content and in the new um, time to come over the next few months we're going to find a fundamental shift in search engine optimization away from basically just creating lovely beautiful sites creating content is going to be the king and we know it's all been said before and Bill Gates said it famously uh, but content really is king and we're going to be seeing that over the next few, few months and certainly in the next few years where basically if you're not creating content you're going to be left behind so it's absolutely important that you link your social media with your blog and you create good content. So, we've established that my um, blog is now linked to my Google Plus account and the next thing is to make sure that my Google Plus account links back to my blog and I'll show you how you do that here. So, if we look at uh, my Google Plus page here and look at edit profile, you can see down here there's a thing called about Sam Francis and this, if you click this, um, how do I now then, now then, now then, how do I just use, just visit it? Okay, I'll set. We don't want to edit, do we? Nope, we don't. We just want to go to About San Francis. And hey ho, what's it going to do? It goes back to my blog. So what we've done is we've connected the About page, which is called the Author Biog, to Google Plus and Google Plus back to the Author Biog. Now that's great, but how does Google Plus know when we create content that it's written by me? Well, I'll show you. Um, if we go to um, the home page of my website, and because this is a single author website, this is very important, this is a single author website, so anything that goes on this blog is going to be written by me, and uh, Google Plus is going to know this because at the bottom of here, I've got a link here, San Francis, and this is basically telling him going back to my about page, so everything that I write is going to be linked back here, to my, and um, Google Plus knows that this is my about page, my author page. Right, so let's go through it again. Getting back to um, the inside the uh, engine, inside the dashboard, let's go to the about page. Here we are, and looking at the bottom here, we've got a bit of code. Now then, I'm going to post this at the bottom of my blog, uh, sorry, after the video, so you'll be able to see exactly what this says. But, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and show you, this says, oh it's a bit of code, which says basically this is my Google Plus ID, uh, and this is the REL equals me link. Okay, and the target is basically what is going to be highlighted what I want you to click so it says click here to join my Google Plus circles and when you click that it's going to go to here and here 
is my Google Circles. So basically, this is the bit that links my About page to Google Plus, and this is very important. And I will copy this, and I will, um, and I will put this at the bottom of the, the video so you can see this later. Okay, so there's that step done. The next step is if we go over to the Google Plus, and this time we are going to edit because I just want to show you what I've put in the About Sam Francis page and we need to edit that and here is the address for my about page um, so you would need to put the address of your about page or um, your author biog but for the sake of this we're going to call it the about page and this is what you want your people to, what what you want people to see and click which is about San Francis and obviously in this case it would be about you okay so there's that step is now done the next step and this is slightly more com complicated I must say but we go back to the blog and we go to the dashboard and we're going down to appearance here because what we're going to actually do here is we're going to um, insert something into the footer that re that that points to your about page so it, it tells so it tells it tells Google every time you write something on your blog every time you post something on your blog this is your content this your this is your unique content this is very important so the theme I use is Socrates you can find out more about that on my blog but um, down here we go to editor on the appearance And we find our footer corner here, and then you want to be inserting this somewhere in the footer. Um, I really don't think it matters particularly where, as long as it's within the div area of the footer. So, I have inserted it. Where did I put it? Dun, 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 dun. Where did I put it? There we go. It's right here. You can see that? A rel equals author href http and then there's my about page and the title about San Francis and San Francis. So what that actually means is that every time I post anywhere on my blog, this is going to appear in the footer. It's going to tell Google that I wrote it and give me the credit for it. So the search engine optimization should be superb because we are looking at a situation now where Google are moving more and more towards this content rich SEO format. So if you're not creating content, you're going to miss out and you have to be um, linked to your Google in order to get the best possible um, SEO that you possibly can. I'm going to put those links down that um, I'm showing you below here. Um, in fact, I might use a little share thing that, um, that that Joe gave me actually, which is great, which means basically all you have to do is click the share button, you get access to that information, and you just spread the word about my video. And what's wrong with that? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.